Well, 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 people, just as you thought, 2021 couldn't get any madder. Turns out I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> I'm gonna be like J Daddy. J Daddy. The big J. The <laughs> weird, that, isn't it? Yeah, well, how do I even start this video? So, bit of a, a pleasant surprise to come out of quite a bad year, I'd like to say. And today is the day that we're going to be heading on down for our six week scan. Well, nearly so, seven weeks now. Nearly seven weeks. And I thought it'd be interesting to sort of bring a video of this because there's a lot, I can imagine like, this is more of like a woman's perspective kind of video that people tend to do. I don't know if there's many like blokes who put these kind of videos and I thought actually it'd be quite, um, quite nice to get kind of a bloke's perspective on actually your travel through a pregnancy because honestly so far it's like six weeks in and it just, nothing really feels different apart from Emma getting grouchy at me. That's probably the only thing. And sick. To be fair that hasn't really changed much actually, you always grouchy at me. <laughs> but Emma's always feeling like obviously a bit of sick and suffering a little bit at the moment is where for me obviously not a lot has changed. So um, it's, yeah, it's just trying to sort of let it sink in. I want to try and get a few of these bits like on a video put together because I think it'll be quite interesting to put across. And we're going to be heading out for the six week scan today. And straight away for me, this is like point number one, is I was thinking, well, what's the point of having a six week scan? Like we've paid to have an early scan. And I was just like, what is the point? Um, and it, it never really like hit me until I kind of said, well, you kind of want to know that there's some sort of proof to see that there's actually a living thing in there because you're putting all your trust into pregnancy tests to begin with, of which Em done about 15 every day to make sure that she was actually pregnant because <laughs> she done one, it said positive, I was like, oh yeah, great. And then it was like, right, I'll do another one just to double check. And then I was like, actually, right, I best do three because, you know, best thing to turn freeze. And then the next day there was another one and you'll get the gist, she done loads and loads of tests just to make sure that she is pregnant. So I'm kind of hoping that this scan today is going to stop and cut our bill down on pregnancy tests to prove <laughs> there's actually something in there. So. Quite an exciting day. We're going to go there. Obviously, hopefully, we're going to get an actual picture. We're going to get a picture. Yeah, we should get like little pictures. Little portrait. And, and I think they send through like something on our phone. And we get phone pictures. It's like so, I'm going to be that bloke, right? And I'm going to be like, look how pretty this little bean is. It probably will look like a speck. And it's going to probably look like a little like kidney bean. bean. A, a bait bean. A bait bean. Apparently, I don't know. I don't know. To make you two. <laughs> so I'd like to say enjoy. These kind of videos, bit of a different vibe for me. This is like going more into my personal life and we don't do that too much, but hey, it's been weird and I feel like it's time to, to open up a little bit. So I hope you enjoy these video guys. And also if you do like it, it's always appreciated. Let's take it to the hosp hospital. No. Doctors. No, it's just like a private clinic. Baby tester. A private clinic. A private clinic, let's go. Masks on and ready to go in for the first of many scans I believe. I don't know how many you actually do have in this process but I don't have that many, it's but... number one and how are you feeling? Scared. Scared. I don't feel like I mean I sort of say I kind of feel normal at the moment. I don't feel like too 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 crazy but obviously I'm not the one getting fondled around with so mm. you ready? Yeah let's go Let's do it. Well, <laughs> wasn't that a bit funny? <laughs> we got told that it's basically a speck attached to a yoke, is the technical terms. And um, yeah, give us a picture, Em. So see that blob in the middle? That, that's not even the baby. That, I'll probably draw on it, that circles the yoke. And this little thing here, four and a half millimeters, with a heartbeat, is a mini me. Or me. Or you, but me. How weird is that? Now it feels a little bit more real, and I think this is why I wanted to to vlog this sort of stuff because it's actually for me and Emma. I think it'll be quite nice to look back on um, in the future. So obviously they've done the scan. We can't take cameras in there um, for various reasons, but they were doing the scan. Obviously going over it. They said that the heartbeat is there. It's all you know, nice and regular, nice and strong, which is great. And I think for anyone who's um, obviously in this sort of position, that six week point I think is quite a nice area to see. Like, well, like we said earlier, is it there? You know, is it is it alive? Is it healthy and all that sort of stuff? And I think mm -hmm. it's a really nice, nice, nice thing to know. And I think it's hitting home a little bit. Like, 
Well, I could see that little flicker, see a very small flicker of the heartbeat. I was feeling um, a little bit, and we're at Ultrasound Direct. In Swindon. In Swindon, the, it's called the Fertility Partnership or something. Um, so if you are local, then, I mean, they were very, very nice, really, really friendly. They booked us in another one. They put us in another one, I think, because where it was, cause was it five weeks and... So... Five weeks and six days. That's how old it is at the moment. But yeah, that's how old it is. So yeah. that's how old it is at the moment. Um, and they said that they could get us back in in two weeks' time to have a bit more of a better And I, I'll scan. be just under nine weeks then. Because then we'll just be under nine weeks. And I asked her, when I think I looked a little bit baby? weird, but when would it actually start to take shape and look like a baby? And they said, <laughs> then it might start to look like a head and something. And so, a tail. And a tail, a head and a tail. But the tail will turn into a bum. But the tail will turn into a bum. Still mm -mm. weird. Still very weird. Well... With that being, we're just so excited that it has a heartbeat. We are. And we have a tiny little baby. I'll try and get Em on the camera because she doesn't get on the camera much, but. There's like a little. Look at the smile. She's buzzing to have a little me running around. What but for we now. Name it? Should we name it Spec? Because the first time we met it, it was a Spec. Let's call it Grenade. No. Uh, names will be flowing. We have ideas, but nothing's being said yet. But for now, I'm going to drive home. Do you have home. names, do you? We spoke about it before. Oh, I didn't think you ever listened to me. Yeah, I listen all the time. But for now, protein bar. And I suppose the next clips for this video will probably be that sort of eight week mark when we're next in and see what the picture's looking like then. But hey, how exciting. Well, bringing it into the next sector of the uh, baby Tilly train. Kept calling it baby Jay and getting in trouble because it's not all me. It's 50% me. Might not be a boy, but then you can have a girl called Jaylene. <laughs> but we're bringing it into uh, week eight of the journey, actually. We had a six week scan and then we've had an eight week scan. And that was mainly because um, when we first went, it was quite small and it was literally like a ball with a little heartbeat. Um, and actually they were really kind at the place that we got it done to say, uh, we can book you in again uh, for free two weeks time to actually come see what it's like, more like a little human and I'm actually amazed how, how much a baby can grow uh, in two weeks. I mean, it's what quadrupled in size, I think it was. It was like four mil and now it's like 20. And you can sort of see like more of a shape rather than a ball. You've got the, can't really point it out, but the head in the bottom sort of like the bottom side. Then you've got his feet up this end up here. You can sort of see that it looks more like a person than last time. And it makes it all start to feel a little bit more real. I mean, yet again, for me, obviously I'm doing this as like a man's perspective, not a lot has changed for me, apart from the fact that Emma's like always feeling pretty, pretty terrible. So I kind of like just tread carefully not to try and annoy her too much. And she tends to leave a lot of her food, so then I've got to eat all that food. So it's kind of like, for me right now, I just feel cautious and very full. Most of the time, that's that's like that's like my main my main thing at the moment. But we've got week six, week eight, and then it's going to be week twelve. Yeah. So it'll be week twelve next one, won't it? Next scan's going to be week twelve, which I then believe it is going to be even more human-like again, which is great because obviously babies do look a little bit funny, like initially, don't they? So yeah, we're kind of hoping it might start to produce its limbs, I guess, and we can actually start to see, can actually start to see what it looks like more. But it's all very exciting, actually. I'm a bit like all bewildered by it. I mean, I don't know how blokes usually react to this sort of stuff, but when I was sat there watching the scan come through today, and you can sort of see its little heartbeat, you just kind of sat there grinning like a little weirdo. I did have obviously a face mask on, so no one could see it, but I was sat there with a little grin on my face and like just amazed to see that we've got a little human coming our way. Obviously anyone who knows we've got our two sausage dogs, so we're quite used to having our little fur babies, but yeah, real babies are a different thing. So stay tuned. This is all gonna be, I believe, in one video, so we're gonna try and get the majority of the scans in on this first one. Uh, but yeah, sit back, enjoy it, and probably next time you see me, I'll probably have a couple, of feet, couple more gray hairs, maybe more of a double chin from all this food. <laughs> and um, yeah, another picture of another baby. So catch you in a bit, guys. Right here then people, bring it in towards the end of the video and I have just had my mind blown. Literally, the change that a baby makes in 12 weeks is absolutely bananas. We are now at the 12 week point, we have had the scan and I've got a couple of pictures, we've actually managed to get videos as well of the little journey, so I will put a little montage together, but from today what I've come to learn is that going from a dot on a yoke to a little line, like a, a round thing with a line, to this, an actual baby with arms and legs. 
it still blows my mind that Emma has thing like growing inside you. But it's it's right. I can't get my head around it. Right? There is bones being built in her body. What do you uh, how weird is that? Like, I mean, when you really, really think about how old is this, like, there's a little thing <laughs> that's grown bones, grown organs, and, like, limbs and stuff. I just can't get my head around it. It's, it's li- You're growing a whole human. That's what I mean. I can't grow a tomato plant without <laughs> knackering it up, so I don't know how, how, you know, how do you grow a human? Very weird. But it was um, nuts. And obviously at the moment with the, uh, obviously the COVID and all this sort of stuff, I wasn't actually allowed to go to the 12 week scan. So as a part of this little journey, like I said, sort of bringing it all together into one is, um, we can go to the NHS scan together, which kind of understand, but kind of annoying at the same time. So we did pay to go back to the private clinic uh, that we got our original scans from, um, from the six and eight weeks. And to be honest, I do feel like, I don't know, for me, I can imagine it probably felt better anyway. Um, I think even if we could go to the NHS one together, I'd probably still like a private one. I, I don't know. It was just a nice feeling, isn't it? Mm. It's nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Just go in, get it done. And I... The woman there, to be fair, this time, she was like, absolutely buzzing, wasn't she? Because yeah. the, the baby itself was like proper boogieing around. And this was another thing that blew my mind, right? I don't know why, but I thought a baby, until they were like, like proper sized, like, you know. A bit more. Yeah, like more like produced, I should say. I thought they were just dormant. I just thought they sat there doing nothing but our one. He was having a, or she, whatever it was, was having a whale of a time. It was stretching out, moving its arms, moving its legs. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been absolutely crazy. So the journey so far, um, obviously the first 12 weeks going from what we class as the six week scan, being sort of like I said, that yoke with a little bit of a line, didn't really sort of hit home so much then. Going into a little bit further, hit home a little bit more because you start to see like a head and things starting to take shape. And then going into the 12 weeks, um, which obviously, as I've just said, is completely mind blown because now it's basically fully grown, not fully grown. It's, it's, it's like got, fully developed in a way. It's got its limbs. It's like, you know, that's what I mean. It's got his limbs, got his legs, and got his arms. Legs, yeah. um, and it's obviously now just got to grow, like, got to, grow um, to full size, but it's six centimeters now, 12 weeks. Six was like 0.4 mil yeah. or something like that. Then it was 20 mil and that is six centimeters. Imagine if I could grow at that pace. I'd be absolutely massive. <laughs> It'd be incredible. And then being at this sort of 12 week point now, I guess I've rounded up little sections of, of how it's been for me uh, from my point of view. Obviously, Emma, like I said, has kind of been going through that process of feeling tired, feeling sick, feeling grouchy. And I've not really, like not much has changed in my life um, as such. So, I mean, from the previous point, eight to 12, I guess it's been more, you've been, I suppose you hadn't felt as bad. I think the first like eight weeks was probably the worst. Do you reckon? Yeah. I think it sort of like eased off a little bit. Obviously you're still like... I'm still tired. Still, still tired, still well. And you're getting like these pulling pains in her stomach, which I think we were a little worried about, but then we spoke to some people and they've sort of said that actually it's like the muscles being stretched, stretched and stuff like that, which honestly kind of makes sense. Like in my head, the way I imagine it, this is how my brain works, is when Harry Potter, <laughs> bear with me, when Harry Potter had that pumpkin juice to build a bone in his arm, he was in agony, right? Why was he in agony? Well, like, it was hurting, and you're building bones, organs, and a body, so it's, it's not gonna be comfortable, is it? And something that we didn't say towards beginning, <laughs> and something we didn't say towards the beginning of the video was that, I think it was about week five, was it? Was it week yeah. five? About week five, Emma had like this really quite bad pain um, in her stomach before we got the first scan. And this was another sort of nudge of why we wanted to get that six week one. And we didn't want to mention it until now, I guess, because we wanted to make sure that everything was okay. Because I think she woke up in the night, it was like quite a sharp, sharp pain, I guess in a way, wasn't it? Like stabbing pain. And Emma was like massively worried. So I'm not saying that's like normal or anything like that. Obviously I'm not a doctor, so I can't sort of say that, but it looks like, Stuff like that could happen, and obviously everything, be, like, everything will be okay, but I feel like it's nice to get that reassurance. So I think for the six week, the eight week, and the 12 week, I'm pretty sure that not everyone does <laughs> that many scans. No. We're very like eager, we're very keen with everything that we do. We are very like, 
And it's been locked down, we've had nothing. A doctor to do bone. Now. And it's been locked down, so we've had nothing else to do really. Um, but good news is, everything is all okay. We're at week 12. The baby is as healthy as, as, as can be, I suppose, as much as we know, isn't it? So, um, taking it forward, what I'm probably going to look to do is I might try and get a couple more clips um, of sort of the, the sort of further into the journey, but we're not like opening up sort of massively. I'm not like making the, the, the baby like a YouTube baby because it's not the whole point why I'm doing this video. It's not to actually promote the YouTube or anything like that. I just thought it's quite nice that people can kind of relate to what we're going through, especially with lockdown. I think it's a, a massive, massive impact. Um, and I think that then brings us in towards the end of the video. So thanks again everyone for watching. Hopefully it's given like a bit of positive and a bit of happiness to what's been a pretty terrible year so far. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go get lazy because we can't do anything. Go get lazy. Yeah, we just can't do nothing. So cheers again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enjoy. Speak to you soon.